here now. He's it's forgot his words and everything, he's that cold. Tell you what, <laughs> tell you what, <laughs> his name's Josh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he's gone out of his phone and everything. Hereford have beaten uh, Boston by two goals to one. How important is that three points today, Josh? Yeah, um, I think if you lose today, you're, there's a bit of a gap. So, you know, we knew coming in today was a big game. You know, now we're a point outside the playoffs. So it's, it's pleasing. We knew it was going to be a tough tough, tough game. They were a good side, uh, direct at times. And, and, but I just I just felt if we get the ball down and play, we'd, we'd be successful today than we were. Certainly in the first half, very expansive, very fluid. And I don't think Boston could quite cope with it. No, but then we're going to the second half and it's just, I, I think the second half was patchy, but it was a bit better than it has been recently in the second half. Um, I mean, the goal was just a scuffy one, isn't it, really? But I think overall we controlled the game when we had the ball down. I think when we when we played quickly and, and sh sw switch play and, and got it into our front men, I don't think they could live with us. And when Mazyar Kuyar gets a, that passing range going, uh, you must be delighted. Yeah, I mean, we looked at them and, and we just thought, if we put Ryan on the opposite side, we knew... Their, their wide left player didn't really track back so you know we wanted to get Ryan out out on that side and then get Maz in, in the 10 which um, in sorry on the opposite side which enabled Seb to get forward because obviously Mazin actually rolls in so we had a look at that and it worked really well today. Yeah, I thought you know once you got the passing going um, you know it was exciting to watch. Yeah um, you, could, you could feel it you could feel it in the, in the stadium from the fans and stuff and, and the way we're moving you can see the lads were enjoying it um, and we controlled the game it's just you probably want us. I mean, well, we were ruthless in the chances. I mean, we didn't have a lot of opportunities today, but the ones we did, we, we put away. I think if Miles puts that one away, I think it's a bit too close to the keeper. But if he puts that away, and the game's the game's dead, dead. But obviously, they get their opportunity, and then all of a sudden, it's a bit of back to the wall a little bit. Given the, given the goals conceded at Chorley last week, the way that you know, they were conceded, um, better grit and better focus out there today. Yeah, I mean, we, we spoke about it at length. We've we've lost the game. I mean, Chorley have drew to that, haven't they? And, you know, we, we beat Chorley and then all of a sudden we're in the playoffs. So you don't want to lose games that way. Um, I was frustrated, you know, the lads were frustrated. We've done a lot of work on the training ground since to get it right. And I, I thought the lads were excellent today. They battled when the balls get thrown in the box from their throw-ins. We, you know, we won first contact. And if it dropped down, we picked up second phase. So that was really pleasing. And you, you talked about competition. You brought the young lads in, Sondergaard, the goalkeeper. Uh, you've got uh, uh, Keenan, he didn't come on today, but yeah. um, they could be involved at some stage. Yeah, I mean, you look at Jamie's come on at the end, we've gone to back three and just tried to show it up a little bit. So it shows the depth we've got in the squad now, which is really pleasing. You know, Brandon's been brilliant all season anyway, but now obviously Sondergaard's come in and, and he's got a bit of competition now, which I think that's what Brandon needs. So, you know, we've, you, you bring Miles on, you know, you got Mo coming on as well, and I thought Mo was excellent when he came on to just... Didn't, I just didn't feel like we were holding on to the ball well enough, so we brought Mo on in the 10 and he just gets that ball down and holds it and gives us that extra second, which we need to take off. And Miles, one of the best people in the end, the was a defender. The ball's gone down wide and he's chased the guy and he's kicked out for a throw in. They're the little moments that win your games. Uh, yeah, definitely. Harry, you signed your contract, and then that's it. You, you're just picking the wheels in at home. No, I'm only joking. No, Harry's um, he's been training now. He's been back training, which is really pleasing. We had uh, an under 23s game against West Brom in the week, um, and Harry played uh, some minutes in that. Got to about 20, 30 minutes, so he's not far away. He's just not got that. You know, Harry glides past people, and he's not quite got that sharpness yet. So we just want to be patient with him. Um, Lukey did a bit of running today, so he's he's not long off um, coming back as well. Um, talk about momentum. We talked about it with Jared earlier. Um, it becomes very important now to back this up uh, against Geisley next Saturday. Yeah, I think Geisley got a good win today, um, so it's going to be a tough time. They, a tough time, shall I say? They play good football, pass it around well. So you know we've got to be focused. You know, I, I think sometimes when you play games like this, like I said in the kiddie game, it's it's easy to get up for it. Um, and no disrespect to Geisley, but then it's it's a different game completely. So. You know, we have to look at where we want to be. We've got points targets and that's what we look at, you know, getting our points targets more than the, the actual team we play. So we're three points closer to our points target. We've just got to keep pushing on and um, I just want to start hitting for them and really put a good run of games together. But 
would say about the side is when, we're, when we have had knockback, we have gone on two, three, four game winning streak. So hopefully we can do the same. Thanks for your time. Cheers, thank you.